हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज चेलसी गुप्ता फ्रॉम एस वी आई एफ एस इंदौर नैन आई एम हियर टू प्रेजेंट अ टॉपिक इंट्रेंसिक पाथवे ऑफ एपोप्टॉक्सिस फर्स्टली व्हाट इज एपोप्टॉक्सिस एपोप्टॉक्सिस इज अ सेल डेथ बाय इंजरी व्हिच मे बी कॉज बाय मैकेनिकल डैमेज एक्सपोजर टू टॉक्सिक केमिकल्स और सेल डेथ बाय सुसाइड व्हिच इज मे कॉज बाय इंटरनल सिग्नल्स एंड एक्सटर्नल सिग्नल्स Apoptosis or programmed cell death is carefully coordinated collapse of cell protein degradation DNA fragmentation followed by rapid engulfment of corpus cases by neighboring cells essential part of life for every multicellular organism from worm to human apoptosis plays a major role from embryonic development to sensing Now why should cell commit suicide because apoptosis is needed for proper development for example resorption of the tadpole tail the formation of the finger and toes of the fetus apoptosis needed to destroy cell examples cell infected with viruses or cancer cells importance of apoptosis Apoptosis plays a major role in normal physiology and development. Development may be immune system maturation, morphogenesis, neural development. In adult, it may be immune privilege, DNA damage, bone repairs. Excess apoptosis may cause neurogenerative diseases. and deficiency of apopto- deficiency of apoptosis may causes cancer and autoimmune immunity in the body now types of apoptosis signaling pathway based on the source of stimuli there are two type of apoptosis signaling pathway operate in the cell first intrinsic pathway in which stimuli are internal second extrinsic pathway in which stimuli are external even though both the intrinsic and extrinsic pathway considerably different there is always cross link between these two pathways now we will discuss the detailed study of intrinsic pathway of apoptosis first of all what does intrinsic pathway mean The intrinsic pathway of apoptosis states the death including inducing stimuli are originated inside the target cell itself mitochondria the power house of the cell have a significant role in executing the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis thus the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis is also knows and known as mitochondrial mediated death pathway what are the stimuli for the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis first severe genetic damage lack of oxygen which may result into hypoxia very high concentration of cytosolic calcium ion presence of some viral proteins severe oxidation stress due to production of free radicals now the process how the intrinsic pathway of apoptosis take place first of all the initiation of st- intrinsic pathway of apoptosis is done by two main sensory protein that is hgm and chk these two sensory protein activates the p53 p- protein p53 protein produces the bex protein and bex protein creates in creates pore in the mitochondrial surface after the pores are made in mitochondrial surface cytoplasm c which is present inside the mitochondria comes out Cy- comes out from the mitochondria in the cytoplasm cytochrome c combines with the ff1 present in the cytoplasm which initiate the process named as cascade reaction in which procaspase 9 is present in an active form During the cascade reaction, the bond of procaspase 9 breaks and form caspase 9. Caspase 9 then activate the procaspase 3, 
which is already present in the cytoplasm. Pro-caspase 3 is further broken down in caspase 3 which activate the nucleus and protease. Nucleus, it breaks the nucleic acids. Protease, it destroys the protein enzyme. Due to the activity of protease, the enzyme get broken into the small bulbs and the small bulbs are known as apoptic bulbs. Further, these bulbs are indigested by T cells. Now, we will understand the process of apoptosis through diagram. When ATM and CHK releases signals, it generates protein P53 which releases NOCA, NOXA and PUMA and creates BAX protein and BAG protein. BAX protein which, which make hole on the surface of mitochondrial surface and releases cytochrome C which is present inside the mitochondria in order which active the apoc one protein which releases aptosomes and start the cascade reaction. In order, Procaspase 9 is broken into Caspase 9 and Procaspase 3 is broken into Caspase 3 which is an active form and initiate the process of apoptosis. Conclusion At the end, we concluded that apoptosis is an important process of cell death and it can be initiated intrinsically through DNA damage via cytochrome C activating initiator caspase 9 through oligomerization. Initiator caspase 8 and 9 cleave and activate efflector caspase 3 which leads to cell death. Thank you for watching.